Hi. <laughs> I'm on a walk at Saltram House near Plymouth and I've been thinking about training goals for Tiffin because a lady ran past us and Tiffin's normal response is to chase after her. But today I got her to sit down. I pulled some treats out of my pocket and waited for the lady to run past before giving them. And she didn't, Tiffin didn't try to chase after her after the lady had run past. She was quiet, calm, just concentrating on me getting the treats out of my pocket and then eating them. So it worked. So my goals for 2016 are to stop Tiffin, completely stop her chasing runners, joggers, cyclists, children on scooters, teenagers on skateboards, people pulling suitcases. It seems that she goes into a crazy zone and doesn't listen to me when one of those goes past. And it's people moving faster than walking pace or it's the noise from the suitcase that drives her crazy and changes her temperament and where she loses her hearing. <laughs> so that's my first goal. And my second goal is to stop her pulling on the lead, to stop Tiffin pulling on the lead because... It's annoying, it doesn't make the walk enjoyable. She's great when she's been for a walk, or if she's walking, if it's just me and her walking, she's fine. But if there's more than one dog, or she wants to get to the park quickly, or she wants to get home for her breakfast, then she seems to forget that she can walk nicely and walk by my side. So those are my two goals for 2016. I'd love to find out what your goals are for your dog. I'm recording this in January, so it's, it's an apt time of year to think about goals, but of course you can think about them at any time of year and start whenever you want. And I think setting, setting a goal for you and your dog will make the process easier if you can think how you want your dog to behave in the long run. Like I want a calm dog when a cyclist cycles past, and I want to walk to the park without my arm being pulled out of its shoulder joint um so yeah so in the comments below let us know and keep your goals in a notebook on a piece of paper or in a spreadsheet and refer back to them every now and again if you're not watching this video on my website my website is www.thewoofworks.co.uk and on the on the blog post where this video can be found there's an ebook which you may like to download as 11 tips to dog training and it will, may give you an introduction to training if you haven't had one before or it might give you a few more ideas that you hadn't thought of okay speak to you soon bye